Hello there and welcome back to another video presentation for the Easy As Accounting software. I'm going to go to the setup section mark 2. If we have a look at our setup, you can change your currency symbol. Why you would have put the wrong currency symbol in in the beginning I don't know, but if you did, you can change it. These screens are self-explanatory, we won't worry about these for now because these are all to do with different sections which will be gone through during those sections. I'm going to jump out of here and I want to show you a couple of little features. See this printer icon? If I click this, currently at the moment it says the default printer setting for the Windows is set to PDF. You can have multiple printers connected to your computer. You can have a PDF software, so instead of it printing to a printer, it prints to a PDF, so you can attach it to an email, etc., etc. So depending upon what you have set will depend upon where it's printed. If I change this to here, now, any time I print any report from this system, it knows to print it directly to the brother printer. It's changed the window settings. So any other program now will also go to the brother printer because that's now the default settings. If I want to change and say, no, I want all my reports to go to, see I've got two PDFs here. This is the one that is recommended on the Easy As Accounting website. So if you jump there and have a look, it'll tell you about how to get this particular PDF for free. I want to select that because I want it to um, print to the PDF. The help icon, naturally any icon on the screen with a question mark next to it, if I jump into expenses, question mark, that means help. Invoices, question mark, help. Okay, it just gives you more information and the help is normally pertaining to that screen. It's screen specific. If I click this help icon, it's screen specific. It's talking about what's on the main menu and I can actually click these and it tells me what these sections are but you know I'm pretty sure they're self-explanatory this icon here no I'm going to talk about that one later it just gives you more information about all this a lot of things around the place you can you can just click on that's what the help icons for screen lock if you have a child in the house or you have people you don't want to see or get into this software you can turn the screen lock on. I suggest everyone at least switch it on. At the moment it's switched off. You've got to set it up first. Got to go into setup and I've got to go to password setup for screen lock. I'm going to give it a password here of number one, two, three, four because um, I want to be able to turn that. I want to be able to remember it later. Once you enter it now, it's there permanently regardless of whether you don't turn it on. If I exit, the password now is one, two, three, four. So just remember, if someone accidentally comes along at a later stage and turns this on, at the moment it's set to off, I'm going to turn these passwords on. Okay, and you exit the program and come back in. It's the same as if I click this. This will come up. If you enter the wrong, you can't get back in now. I have to now enter 1, 2, 3, 4 to get back into the system. Right, I'm going to click enter. Right, I'm now in there. I'm going to jump back in and switch that back off. Set up menu, turn it back off. Oh, well, I don't want passwords to come on. That's it. That's all that's about. Okay, so just remember that. Need to explain anything else in this setup. I think we've gone through enough. You do have a backup and restore facility. Look, we're going to leave that to another video. Vehicle rates. With Easy Ads Accounting, you don't have to use the whole program. You only use what you want to use. A lot of people only purchase the program for the expense and income section. Some people only print it for the expense income, purchase for the expense income and the invoices because they don't have a need for the rest of this. It is a flexible program. You use what you want and disregard the rest or use the whole lot depending on your business. If I wanted to record some vehicle stuff, I can click here and it's just another method of recording some vehicle stuff. It's particularly for people at the end of the year that want to record the distance they travel for the end of the year and that type of thing. It's really for financial year purposes. Or you might have a vehicle that's used exclusively for that job only. You don't use it for anything else. And at the end of the year, you just record your amounts, whatever. It's a facility that's there for recording purposes for that reason. Okay, If you need a logbook, you get a logbook. Don't use this for this, whatever you do. What's so good about it, though, is it is good if you've got two vehicles. I use this, my personal vehicle and my business vehicle. If I drive my personal vehicle for for work, I record in my logbook. And at the end of the year, I just record here what... I traveled distance I traveled for the year. You can put the rate down there for the tax and it will tell you how much the total should be that you can claim as a deduction. So I print this 
and um, I take that report to my accountant anyway, and he knows. It's already in front of him. I don't have to put this in. I can just put in the distance I travelled, the dates to, from, any information I put there I want him to see, and he's got it in front of me. He loves it because it's just all there. He doesn't have to say, oh, where's your logbook? You forgot to bring it. You didn't do this. I just edit that. It's all for him. Pretty obvious here. I can add a new vehicle. I can't now because I haven't got it run in there. But see how the new vehicle comes up anyway. So if I exit the screen, address book, just another way you can keep records of your clients. You can enter information in here. It makes it easier to when you um, go to select certain clients for your invoices. On the invoice screen, information entered in here is an automatic process for your invoices. So instead of you having to retype in invoices to a client that, you, that you're invoicing regularly, you can say grab it from the invoice and it will pop up. And whatever is in this section is what appears on the invoice. You'll see that later, but you can actually have additional information in here. So it's like in a mini address book. You can use this as such or not. Your choice. I use it because I can actually put other information in here. And if I want to quickly ring something, one of the clients, I've got the email address handy. I've got their contact name. I don't have to go through get my pen and paper address book that I used to use. Really nice and clever. I don't think it's pretty well self-explanatory. You can flick around the screen backwards and forwards, you can you can select the customers, but there's no one in here. This is a dummy screen, so I don't need to go for this. You've got a help icon. It, it tells you all about it. Pretty much, that's what that's for. I don't want to tell you anything else. I'm going to leave, skip everything else for now, and go into some real videos and show you the income, expenses, etc. Okay, thank you.